Are the brands that beauty influencers create really all that good or is it a bunch of hype? That's what we're going to figure out in today's video. I mean, not with all beauty influencer brands, but like four. Four is a good number for influencer brands in this video. Desi Perkins is someone I have been watching for probably since she started on YouTube, the queen of Halloween makeup and transformations and just generally living an aesthetic lifestyle on Instagram. The first brand she ever launched was a sunglass brand, but then most recently she has launched Desi Skin. The website is very Desi, very like neutral tone, lots of beiges and grays, and currently four skincare products and two accessories, a travertine vanity mirror and a travertine stone tray, oh, three, and a silk eye mask. Hmm, nope, don't need them. Do not need them. Stick to the skincare. Oh, but that mirror is so cute. I have nowhere to put it. Mm, do I though? No, stop, go to the skincare. So I haven't really seen reviews of any of these products. I mean, I haven't gone looking for them, so I don't know which are like highly rated, what everyone's raving about. I think I'm just gonna try a little bit of every one. Let's go with the whole enchilada. Ooh. The Desi Skin packaging is very minimal and very expected. I feel like that's her aesthetic. And even inside too, classic, minimal, paper, that's it. Even down to the bag, it's like this pebble gray. What is this? Is this neoprene? I don't even know what neoprene is. And inside the minis came wrapped in bubble wrap, Aqua Fresca Thirst Quenching Cream Gel, gel Cream Moisturizer, Do Me Over Prep Set and Refresh Face Mist. Does not smell like a thing. Not one thing, which is great if you're sensitive to fragrance. Claro okay, KC Vitamin Glow Serum. And these are the opaque bottles, especially are uh, very weighty, very weighty feeling. Like it feels very luxurious. This feels very lightweight and it also doesn't have a scent. And last is the Mask On Overnight Moisture Mask. This is also very thin, lightweight feeling, but unlike the vitamin C serum, there it leaves a little bit of a, a nice slip to the skin. So the serum melts into the skin and the mask isn't like your typical leave on like thick clay mask. It's a gel that gets absorbed. So I can't imagine you wash this off, but it still leaves your hand feeling like so, so silky smooth. Let's try these overnight. Ooh. Hi, happy I caught you here. So I don't know why I thought I would have an update for you with one night. Uh, it's skincare. It's gonna take a while, especially vitamin C when you see like those brightening benefits. So I don't really have an update. They feel nice on the skin, but I, I'm gonna give it a five out of five because in general, the whole purchasing and trying experience was good, but unfortunately, I can't tell you much more about the long-term effects of these products and that's on me. Sorry about it. I have tried her sunglasses. In fact, I was, I think the day that she launched her sunglasses, I was like waiting on the website and might've gotten them before they sold out. Um, so I have a few pairs. These are the fallbacks. They're pretty nice. I love the size of them. I have a big head and I need big glasses to go on my big head. And these are nice. They cover the eyes, the under eyes, you know, I feel like they really balance my face size and shape. Here's how they come by the way. You not only get this, large. It's a large glasses case, but it's very on brand, very pebble beige, Desi pebble beige. And on the inside, you get the glasses and you get a little fabric uh, case in case you don't want to carry this all around with you. But these are the shades that I was most excited to get because they're a shape that I just never would have tried. Um, but they're too small for my face shape. And I feel like they make me look like I'm about to zap you with a little men in black pen thing on red is is this style i'm just so bummed because man i wanted these to look good but i'm telling you big head needs big glasses i do think they're a little narrow a little narrow on the sides of the head so again big headed folks these might not be your most comfortable glasses pick but they are cute desi sunglasses four and a half out of five nikki tutorials i have been watching her probably not since she started youtube but definitely since i have and she has to me she has always fueled my love of color she's an inspiration and an education Educa educational hub when it comes to all things color and like a full face beat and entertainment. Like I think she was the first one I remember doing all of those makeup challenges like on a roller coaster and all those kinds of things. So basically the YouTube queen of makeup. Full transparency, I actually bought when she first came out with her whole brand. 
I bought the Hello Nimia bundle, which is all the products in one. And then most recently when she launched her eyeshadow palette, I bought it too. First up is the Berber cooling eye stick. And this, I mean, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with a cooling eye stick because whether you're dealing with allergies, illness, if you happen to have a one-year-old son who has brought home literally every illness under the sun possible in the past few weeks, this is great for a morning, afternoon, 3 a.m. refresher. And it says to apply both to your under eye as well as on top of your lids. And I've done this many times, haven't noticed it. Uh, it. It sinks in really fast, so it doesn't like affect how my foundation or concealer or eyeshadow primer or shadows lay over top. It's just, it's a really nice product. The cooling is temporary, but hey, would you really want something like cooling on your eyes all day. Now there are base products. The License to Glow Serum is for, if you want a gluey, gluey? <laughs> Dewy, glowy, <laughs> or gluey finish. Uh, if you have like drier skin, combo skin that leans up to the dry side, this is really nice. Otherwise, the Where It All Starts Cream is for combo to oily skin. To show you how foundation lays differently over both of these, like it gets really glowy over the serum and a little bit more satin matte over the cream, I'm gonna apply the serum to this side of my face and the cream over here. Oh, a heads up that this is supposed to remain tacky on the skin. In the instructions, it says, massage cream into the skin until absorbed. Where it all starts cream by Nimia will leave a comfortable sticky feel. And when I first read that, I was so disgusted and turned off. I've just never seen a brand like call out that a product leaves your skin feeling sticky and especially when hair gets stuck to it, it's like, <coughs> A little bit, little, little gaggalicious. But before I got like too up in my feelings about it, I remembered that my other favorite primer, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, this also leaves your skin feeling tacky and it's what I think helps your makeup grip to your skin. So I think I'm just owed out by the fact that they call out that it's supposed to be sticky and I shouldn't, it, that's a me thing. It's perfectly fine. Now with my foundation all applied, I feel like you can really tell this side is definitely more all over glowy dewy, gluey, as we like to say, apparently. And this side is still satiny, but I mean, it's very, very much so matte, especially in the center of my face. Depending on your skin type, pick one or the other. And last for products, there is the Set It and Forget It setting spray. Uh, side note, how cute is this packaging? I think a lot of thought and detail went into this, and I really appreciate that. It's a very fine mist. However, I've still found that once it dries down, I can still, it's not so fine that I can't see individual droplets and with a mist like this that is glowy and dewy, there's some sort of pearlescent shimmer in it to where if the drops are big enough, I see like a shiny drop on my skin. And so I do have to go in with a brush and just kind of pat, pat it all in to make sure I don't have any of those super fine droplets. And then she has a fan as well. This has three, one, two, three, three speed settings and a little holder at the bottom so you can actually like set it upright on your vanity. Uh, this is the one thing where uh, I'm not so sure about. It's cute, it's on brand. If you want a matching set, absolutely. But I'm pretty sure you get something very similar, even a three speed fan at that on Amazon for uh, maybe not as much. This is the one thing that I'm like, eh, it's a nice to have, but could you get it elsewhere? Probably. Nimia base products, I give them four and a half stars because you don't really need the fan, but the rest of them are excellent. This palette is pretty gorgeous. And the actual palette itself, no surprise, a metallic orange, coppery orange color, the Nimia orange. And inside, nice mirror, says Nimia on it, and the shadows themselves. This is just such an unexpected color combination for me. I really like it. Now I have already used the matte navy blue in a look and I was unbelievably impressed with the shadow quality. It's not chalky, it's not patchy, it's, it's nice. Today though, I wanna go in with the other stunner in this palette, Vur, 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 I don't know. Wow, I don't know where I was going with this look because right out the gate, she is coming in hot. <laughs> Let's maybe, uh, blend this out a little bit. This is turning out surprisingly well, not to do with the palette, to do with my artistry skills. Hm. And then because I don't know when to stop, I'm going in with Berber, uh, kind of in the center of the lid, right along the lower lash line, and um, doing that. 
every single time I put the blues and the oranges in this palette together in one look, I am always so pleasantly surprised because they're really, they're just two colors that I would have thought were too bold to go together but not in Nikki's palette. So, which by the way, I is cardboard. It's a thin cardboard palette, very minimal. Doesn't feel luxurious necessarily, but great for travel. I have traveled with it recently and it obviously didn't break. It is all in one piece. For the price point, it might've been nice to have something that felt a little bit more robust, but the shadows inside really do the talking. Nimya, I'm giving you a five out of five. Hold up, before we move on to the next brand, I have to ask, are you subscribed? And if you are, have you hit the bell? Because if you're notified when these videos go up, you will know that in the first half hour, you make a comment, you might win a $50 gift card. In this video specifically, it's to one of the brands that I'm talking about, but in future videos, you don't know because I don't know, but be sure to subscribe and hit that bell just in case, you know? Trixie Cosmetics started by Trixie Mattel who got her start on RuPaul's Drag Race and now what doesn't Trixie do? Technically, she's not really a YouTuber. I mean, she is. She has amassed like this huge following on YouTube, but I think she's more of an entertainer. Trixie Cosmetics is every bit as fun and entertaining as Trixie Mattel is. I am always excited to see what they come out with because there's so much thought that goes into the packaging and the like the campaigns around them are just, ugh. That's a brand that to me, every time I just see it, not even use it, not even try it, it just inspires me to do makeup. And I think that makes a good beauty brand. We're gonna have to be selective. So let's go with the Girl Talk palette. And I haven't tried anything for the face. So let's grab a little something there too. This is how Trixie Cosmetics orders come. Adorable, 10 out of 10 on the box. And then wait, everything is wrapped in bubble. What did I order? Oh no, I forgot I ordered bronzer. I already have it on, whatever, we'll, we'll apply some more. But inside here, you also get little swag. There's a button, there's some patches, there's some stickers in a holographic pouch. How, this is an experience. This is an experience and I love it. So in this order, oh my God, there's more. There's another sheet of stickers and they're like iconic 90s. There's a Furby, there's a cell phone. There's one of those little um, thingies where you do like the one, two, three, four, you, the, you get what I mean. Once again, packaging is so cute. In shades like Cootie, Speed Dial, Mash. Oh, I loved playing Mash. This is just so freaking cute. I'm going in with Star 67, which is this intensely pigmented matte yellow shadow. Ooh, I did forget to prime my eyes. And yet, this is going on shockingly well. This is like day glow yellow and it's really layering up. Get some jinx up there in the brow bone. It's like kind of a frosty, a cool frosty white. Classic 90s. Now I'm doing some boy band. Ooh, I did not think through the fallout. Uh, ki Kind of through my crease, I guess and my under eye area. Then on the inner half, I'm going in with Dear Diary, which is an iridescent teal. Gor this is gorgeous. This, it's like slightly sheer. So it looks like a mermaid's tail almost. And then I think of course the natural choice to blend those two shades together is a shimmery pink, Sugar Rush, that I'm just gonna use on my finger. So cute and just a really nice application. This palette is everything I expected and more. It is perfectly pastel. It is perfectly 90s. 10 out of 10 for me. And honestly, it shouldn't have come as a surprise. I also have the Bottle Blonde palette that I really, really like, as well as some of the, some of the lip products, the gloss. I think just the glosses from the brand and those are really nice too. But now let's check out the bronzer. This is the Flower Power Bronzer and I got the shade Darling Daisy. It's actually a trio. So you get like two shades of bronze and then one highlight on the end. The brush comes little brush sleeve, which is nice for holding its shape. Let's swirl both of them together. Okay, I feel like it was a little unfair for the first attempt with this bronzer to be used over bronzer I was already wearing. So let's give it another go, shall we? I'm going to go in with a mixture. And this brush really is nice. It's fluffy enough to do some buffing, but you can get, I like, a, I love applying bronzer in between my brow and my hairline but there's a lot of hair there. It can be kind of a mess. And this is tapered enough to just really, really get in there nicely. Nicely done. Bronzer? No bronzer. Where's my highlight brush? Easy does it. Okay, there's no such thing as easy does it with this highlighter apparently. 
<laughs> Ooh, let's try all three of them together, bronzer and highlighter. See how that goes. Oh, you, you can barely see that. Is it the lighting? Wow, I don't know if you can see how even just the littlest bit of that highlight in there really added a glow to this bronzer. You have to be careful. They should put a warning label on this highlight. I love it. Trixie Mattel, five out of five stars. Ali Glines is a YouTuber I know a lot of you regular viewers of this channel will know. She, dang, she uploads three times a week. She is relentless in trying and reviewing and sharing the best of the best drugstore, high end, you name it. She's showing us how to apply it and how to look good doing it. And she has a travel makeup bag collection. Well, I guess it's just a makeup organizer collection, but as you can see, none of this is fitting into one or even three bags. Anytime I am confronted with the ability to buy like multiples in one set, I do. Um, but I wasn't sure if the full bag collection would be too big because to be to despite the collection behind me, I am actually a pretty light packer when it comes to makeup and travel, which is how I'm gonna be using these. And the full bag collection, it looks a little big. So I went with the classic bag collection and uh, the everyday tools bag in the lilac. And this was like the fastest shipping of everything that I ordered here. I swear, I placed the order the same day I got a shipping notification email. And then like two days later, it was on my doorstep. Best shipping of of everything. Now each bag comes with its own little like satin protector, which honestly, I've been meaning to buy a silk pillowcase. This isn't quite big enough to be a pillowcase, but I'm tempted because it is very soft. Then on the inside, you have uh, what it, one of three bags in the set that I ordered, a little handle here on top. It's like a little, little train carrying case. You open it up and you have storage here on top and then two little containers here. And then I've seen in the pictures uh, for like how to use this, you can put your palettes up here. As you can see, I have one packed. I actually used this last weekend to fly up to my sister's baby sprinkle and this is the only, well, it's not the only one that I use, but I was doing my makeup and putting all of my makeup, like packing it as I go, which is how I like to pack. So I make sure I don't miss anything. And I only filled this up and the brush holder. I took my Nimi palette, but I'm glad I didn't get the big one because I, this was more than enough for what I needed. And it was a really effective way to organize everything while I was there. So. Like I said, this palette fit really nicely in here, which is good since I didn't take the, the bigger thing to kind of slide it in that top slot. All my brushes, let's see, I have 13 brushes in here and could have fit more comfortably in addition to the palette. It's nice having those separately. And these are, are deceptively deep. I mean, I just fit another face. This is the Hourglass like holiday face palette along with more Nimia, my foundation, all my sticks, all my compacts. It just, it, it fits so comfortably in there that I didn't even need to bring the other two packs. So these are great. They feel really well made. Um, yeah, I do have like some staining in here already. Um, I've tried wiping it out with a damp cloth and it doesn't, it hasn't come up easily, but honestly, every single makeup bag I have is like, beyond stain so it's i wouldn't expect anything else or different but the outside is like a material that's going to be super easy to to wipe stuff away and off of so at least the exterior and the clear plastic is going to be super easy to clean i dig it alley glines i mean from shipment to the actual usage experience five out of five i'm curious what brands do you want to see rated and reviewed in another video be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you actually don't miss the video when it's uploaded or any cool giveaway opportunities in the future and i will see you in the next video guys bye